as let's let's treat um, probabilities right let's treat probabilities okay let's assume there are 40 students in a class 40 students in a class 30 percent are girls yeah? 30 percent are girls all right okay so now they ask you what is the probability that a student chosen at random is a boy what is the probability that a student chosen at random is a boy now i've been giving there are 40 students in a class and then they are saying 30 percent are girls so what number are girls 30 percent so let's find 30 percent of the 30 percent of the of the 40 so we will get what 12 right we get 12 so 12 are girls so if 12 are girls then it means that boys are 28 all right so it means boys are 20 so we now now we know the number of girls you know the number of boys so if they ask you what is the probability that a student chosen at random is a boy now these are the boys is a boy so if it is a boy then it becomes so always is a boy 28 very simple you get it now you see two can go here 14 two can go here 20 you can realize again that two also can go here seven two can go here 10 so seven over ten so what's the probability that a student chosen at random is a boy is a boy you take the boy's value over the total because they what's the that a student okay what is the probability that a, a student chosen at random is a girl is a girl so 12 over 40 the total so with this two you can see two can go here six two can go here and 20 and you two two can go here three two can go here 10 so it is what three over 10 very simple okay so let's say we have um let's say in a room in a room there are 120 colors mm -hmm. 120 colors 70 are blue 30 are black and 20 are red they ask you what's the probability that a color chosen at random is is red is red so we know 20 red so it is 20 over the total 120 mm -hmm. so with this when you break it down you get one over six what is the probability that a color chosen at random is blue is blue now this is blue 70 so 70 over 120 so when you break it down you get 7 over 12 mm -hmm. okay so what is the probability that a color chosen at random is black is black you know 30 is black so 30 over the total so when you break this one down to you get one over four you get it okay but so if they don't ask you what is the probability but they ask you what fraction of the colors is black what fraction of the colors is black it's the same thing what fraction of the colors is black so this is black so what fraction of the colors is black 30 what fraction of the colors is blue what fraction of the colors is blue 70 what fraction of the colors is red that's it very 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 simple are you okay all right so that is the probability so anytime they give you make sure you know your total okay so let's look at um, the examinable question they set some time ago and then so that i can use that to um, explain to you jhs shs and poly okay so in favor against undecided okay sorry my lines are not straight so let's say we have a total here a total here so there are times you are lucky they'll give you the total there are times they, will, they wouldn't
didn't give it a total. Mm? So when you go and then they give it they give you a table for make sure you get a total for each. So let's say we have 10, 12, 14, 5, 8, 7, 6, 4, 2. So let's add 10 is 22. This is um, 36. This is 20. This is 12. So let's add this side to 15, 21. Uh, 24 23 okay so let's add all of this 8 right so we can see that the total number is 68 now for last for last year they drew this for them and then they asked them very simple simple questions and write mm -hmm. okay so let's say um, this was a this was a an interview they went about schools asking students whether they supported the free SHS free SHS and then these were those in favor these were those against and then these people they were undecided they didn't know they didn't know whether they should go in favor or they should not go in favor so therefore them they were undecided now they ask you what fraction and so with this we can see the total number of people they queried or they interviewed was 68 right they ask you what fraction what fraction of the student they are all students jhs shs what fraction of the student were in favor so it's simple what fraction of now anytime you see what fraction of the next word they say is the denominator so what fraction of the student of the student of the student is in favor these are people in favor their total is 36 very simple what fraction of the students are in jhs what fraction of the students are in jhs this is jss so these are the jhs people they are 21 what fraction of the students are in poly what fraction of the students are in poly now this is poly there are 23 good what fraction of the student of the students um, are against free SHS are against free SHS now these are the people who are against free SHS so 20 what fraction of the student of the student are undecided these are undecided people so they are 12 what fraction of the students are in SS. What fraction of the students of the student are in SHS? These are SHS people, 24. Right? Good. Now the if they don't say what fraction, they say what is the probability that the student chosen at random is this the same thing. So if they ask you what is the probability that the student that the student chosen at random is in GHS, that the student, the total is in GHS is 10. Mm -hmm. What is the probability that a, a student chosen at random is in SHS? Mm -hmm. Just 68. SHS is 24. Very simple. Very, 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 very simple. So, um, colleagues, this is it. And then I believe with this, you all um, understand this as very, very, very simple. Okay, before I close, let me let me give you this also dynamics in case you go and then they twist on the question. You don't you wouldn't say Mr. Opanka didn't teach you. Now, assuming they ask you what fraction of those in favor are SHS students? What fraction of those in favor? What fraction of what fraction of those in favor? Now we could see that with this one, it was he wasn't talking about the whole student, it was saying what fraction of those in favor now those in favor this is their total so it becomes the denominator of those in favor are shs students shs students so the same lay they are what 12. so what fraction of those against of those against of those against they are 20 are jhs people 
Now the GSS here is five. Very simple. So if they ask you what fraction of those undecided are poly, what fraction of those undecided are poly, poly is two. Very simple. Mm? Very, very, very simple. And so when they ask you these questions, you should know. Uh, you should know how to go about it. All right, thank you, and then I wish you all the best.